2,3,4-trimethylpentane. Let's draw this using the IUPAC name, which is based on its structure. So the first thing that I always do is I start with the parent name. I start with the pentane. All right, it's the suffix part of the name. This is going to tell me how many carbons are in the longest continuous chain. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the pent. The pent tells me there are five carbons in the longest continuous chain. Now, if I don't know um, where, if I didn't know pent is five carbons, I can look at my reference table. And reference table P tells me that. And all I have to do is see that my pent is right here, and it's five carbons. So we have one through ten listed, so pent is five. So I'm going to draw my longest continuous chain of five carbons because of the pent. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the next part I'm going to look at is the ain, okay, part of the suffix here. And this ain here tells me I have alkanes, I have single bonds between my carbons. Now how do I know there's single bonds and how do I know ain is that? I go to my table where I use table P to tell me how many carbons are my longest continuous chain. I use table Q to tell me, remind myself that anes, okay, are single bonded hydrocarbons. Okay, and they give me an example there, of ethane with two. So that's how I know that. So I got my single bonds because of the ane, pent for the five carbons, my longest continuous chain. And then I'm going to start looking to see what's attaching to my longest continuous chain. I've got meth groups. Okay, meth are one carbon groups, and you can see that on table P, one, uh, one carbon is a meth. And these numbers are telling me where they're attached, and it's very important you understand, because structure is king, and structure changes the um, chemical and physical properties of a hydrocarbon. How these are attached to the bond are very, very important, because if they attach in different places, th this compound will have different uh, properties. So I have to know exactly where they go. So I have a methyl group. Now a methyl group is a one carbon group. Because it's attaching to the chain, the rest of these are, must be hydrogens. So sometimes you'll see it written as a CH3, like that. In any case, I know that the second and the third and the fourth carbon is where the attaching groups are. So if I count my carbons, the longest continuous chain, make this one, two, three, four, and five, you can see that on the second carbon, I'm going to have a methyl group, CH3. On the third, I have a CH3. And on the fourth, I have a CH3. And if I was to, to number these the other way, one, two, three, four, well, you can see that 2, 3, and 4 would still have the CH3s on the same number of carbons. We always put the attachment groups in the lowest possible carbons possible. So no matter how I name in this case, the middle carbons are going to be the place where the methyl groups go. And then, of course, the rest of this, I'm just going to add Hs so that every single carbon has five, uh, sorry, has four bonds. Why? Because carbon has, of course four valence electrons. So I'm going to fill this out with H's so that every carbon has four bonds. Now you can write the H's or you can write the dashes. All right, The dashes represent the H's. Now if you leave out a dash it's wrong. If you're going to start writing hydrogens you should finish. So notice that every single what carbon has one, two, three, four bonds. This carbon is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and everything works. Now you could also uh, draw this out and put the CH3s like this. You could say, okay, this is a C with what? Three H's as well and put the H's that way. Or because these things rotate, okay, who is to say that I don't put one CH3 right here, one methyl group here, and one methyl group here? does not matter because as long as you have one on the second and the third and the fourth, which is the middle carbons, it's not going to matter. Uh, remember, if you're going to put one here, an H has to go here to make sure that we are saturated and holding the max amount of H's. If you didn't put an H here and left this out, this is wrong. This carbon only has what? Three bonds. And since we wrote the H's, we'll fill that out. 
So whether they're up or down, it doesn't matter. Remember, these things can rotate on their single bonds. So this is a 2,3,4 trimethylpentane. Notice the, notice the tri tells us it's three of the same group. Okay, and that's your structure right there.